Science fiction is a storytelling miracle. You take a few doses of physics and chemistry, add a healthy dash of imagination, and presto, you can dream up devices that are seemingly impossible and yet strangely plausible all at the same time. We've already seen how sci-fi gadgets like the touchscreens, video chats, and communicators of Star Trek have more or less become real things. So what about us one day making a real lightsaber? Answer this question, we will, on Al Connected's General Knowledge. And the answer to the question, will we ever have a real lightsaber, is no. I, it, it's basically impossible. But just because building a lightsaber is quite impossible, doesn't mean that we can't have some fun examining the reasons why this is so. So let's do that now. In the Star Wars universe, lightsabers can deflect bolts of energy and also make contact with one another. In this way, they act a lot like a solid object. That and the fact that they also end at a fixed point. The big problem? Light, including all lasers, doesn't do any of these things. It's just visible electromagnetic radiation. It does not have a solid physical form. Light beams pass right through one another and they shine on infinitely. So light, not good light saver material, but what about plasma? Alongside solids, liquids, and gases, plasma is the fourth state of matter. Plasma is very similar to gas, except it is ionized by tremendous amounts of thermal energy. This ionization causes the electrons of the atoms inside it to separate from their nuclei, and it also happens to cause plasma to glow. It's wild stuff, and in terms of our lightsaber, plasma has yet another very cool trait. It responds to magnetic fields. This means that unlike light, plasma could theoretically be contained within the shape of a magnetic field, like say a slender meter long beam shaped field. The only problem with all of this? Powering that field. Generating that kind of magnetic field would require an immense amount of energy. And that's not even getting into the over 20 megawatts of power needed to create the metal slicing hot plasma in the first place. You're not getting that from a couple of AA batteries. Essentially, you'd have to hold a tiny nuclear reactor in the palm of your hand. But hey, let's just pretend that everything we've discussed so far is still not a problem. Because plasma? It can easily be heated to temperatures of several thousands of degrees, the ones needed to slice through metal like butter. The sun? That happens to be a huge ball of plasma, people. But here's the thing, and yes, there's always a thing with this lightsaber. If you had a meter-long beam of plasma radiating out at such extreme temperatures, it would instantly and brutally char anyone nearby especially the person holding it. So where are we? A lightsaber would be impossible to contain, impractical to power, and would instantly light its user on fire. That, and it wouldn't deflect or make contact with anything. I guess they don't call it science fiction for nothing. Thanks so much for watching. We're sorry about that whole no lightsaber thing. But if you subscribe below, at least you'll never miss another episode of Owl Connected's General Knowledge.